Hi guys, to be, to be honest, I'm very excited that I'm going to interview the Frank Mir. I even have uh, the questions like ready. Notes. That's the first time in my life that I did it. A little notes. Frank, first of all, um, thank you for coming to Vienna. You are a great champion. You are an you're amazing hero to me. You're one of my favorite oh, fighters, thanks. if not absolutely number one. Um, what is your connection to MMA? Tell me, what is it that you think that is so cool about MMA that makes you, that makes you even mentally stronger, even spiritually stronger? Um, what is it that, that, that we have in our sport? Well, I think that uh, MMA, to me, martial arts, when you do live combat, represents just that, dealing with um, adversity. And I think sometimes, especially in modern society, our lives are pretty easily. You know, we worry about things that, you know, a hundred years ago, probably people would laugh about that, you know, yeah. you know oh, my car is a little old. Even the power getting turned off in your house is not that yeah. bad if you think about it. Yeah. So the good thing about fighting is you get to go into the uh, arena and compete or train in the gym, compete against other people. It makes you nervous, it makes you scared. You make mistakes, you make mental mistakes that, that you know, uh, show themselves physically. And then you can work on them and learn how to build them. Like, well, why did you hesitate here? Why did you hold back here? Why did you go this way? And those all help build your mind for everyday life. That's what Joe, Joe Rogan once said, you know, that he thinks that to be health, healthy uh, mentally, you have to experience even a little bit of pain, you know, in order to enjoy life. Yeah. Is, is, is that right? The, the next question is, uh, what do you think of yoga? The yoga is becoming like kind of a popular now among martial artists. Do you do yoga as well sometimes? A little bit, not as much as I should. My wife's heavily into it, um, but I stretch a lot. You know, I just don't hold a lot of the positions and stuff. Um, you know, a victim of not, you know, following it through, but so far I think it's very healthy for you and very good. And actually there's a, a guy in the U.S., uh, uh, Diamond Dallas Page, a former yeah. pro wrestler, yeah. who's big into it. And actually I'm trying to, I had to have a surgery, so I, I missed it the first time. Yeah. I'm actually trying to get out to his place and do like a two-week sabbatical learning how to Amazing. do yoga. Amazing. Um, I see in Instagram that you're very proud of your daughter. She's in a high school. She's a great wrestler from what school. I see. In the middle school, yeah. yeah she's only 13. A Amazing, great wrestler. I have a daughter myself. She's 19. I imagine how proud uh, you are, I can, I can really relay on that. Um, what do you think, are you going to try to, to, to put her in a, in, a, in, a martial, in a mixed martial arts maybe even? Well, this is what she wants to do. Um, all my kids, both my, my sons too, but uh, it's funny, I don't think they get as much attention because they're boys and they're expected to do well at it and they do. Where my daughter, I think because it's a girl, she gets a lot of attention and I'm happy for her and, and really I didn't push it, you know, I've pushed other sports, you know, softball specifically. Yeah. Um, but she finally, you know, she's old enough and she says she wants to just train full time so we've only started training the last couple weeks before that she's always been around to take a class here and there yeah but uh, that's the part that's so amazing is that yeah. she's around it and she's done it but we just now probably started training her full time yes and the last question who do you admire the most uh, in the world of mixed martial arts oh as a martial artist yeah well, there's tons of guys it's hard to say I mean it's like you know saying who's a good writer you know there's so many yeah. people to pick from yeah um, you know there's different fighters that pick different things from in fact it probably be easier if I wanted to be a dick I could probably tell you people I don't like or don't <laughs> yeah. admire there's a much shorter list all right uh, yeah, a much bigger easier. list yeah much, much easier bigger list. yes yeah. and, and, and one more question please um, I have a feeling that a lot of sports develop you uh, physically and mentally but with Brazilian jiu-jitsu I think that uh, we develop even spiritually did you have that feeling that you're like growing on that mat yeah in no a certain definitely way? Uh, dealing with problems and how to come at people very strategically um, um, it adds good, but jiu-jitsu, I think all the martial arts, that's why it's good in MMA because you get to pull from different ones. Boxing has a, a different mentality, wrestling has a different mentality, jiu-jitsu has a different mentality, and the best, each one has great strengths to it, but then sometimes they're weaknesses. For example, jiu-jitsu weakness. Um, very good at dealing with problems. People, oh, you do this, I do this. But we have a very kind of like, well, I'll give what you take, you know, I'll take what you give me. You know, we'll see where we go, I'll flow. Sometimes life doesn't work that way. Sometimes you can't just sit there and go, well, whatever you're going to do, I'm going to counter. It's great to have that when it, things hit, when people put you on your heels. But sometimes going forward and being proactive and aggressive, going, well, no, I'm going to take this position. I'm going to do this to you. We're going to go this way. Right. That's not always a right. guy's mentality sometimes. Sometimes like, oh, let's just move around. Right. Don't use power, just roll. Right. So, I mean, there's pros and cons to each of the martial arts. Right. Boxing, karate, Aikido. There's good things about it and then there's bad. And that's what's so good about MMA is I can pull the strengths from each one and try to remove the weaknesses. Thank you, sir. It was a huge honor talking to, talking to you. Thank you very, very much. Thank I'm going to leave you to the guys. They probably want to have some photos with the legend.